And now we can see uh, back in the 60s, Yellow Submarine, you saw John Lennon with the uh, satanic sign in the cartoon. Now he's doing this three-finger method with the satanic sign. And you can understand now that OK sign is simply not an OK, but it is a 666 sign. And you make the connection between uh, the Sgt. Pepper album with Aleister Crowley being on the uh, cover of that album. And you understand that their whole... They are satanic. And so you say, oh, Beatles are not a satanic band. Give me a break. Please look, research, understand, understand the symbols, and understand that you're being played on a religious level. Here we are. They're older. And you can see Ringo Starr, uh, triple six sign. Another variant of that. Doesn't look like he's doing a 666 sign, but I'm telling you, um, most likely he is doing that. Here's Michael Jackson, a young child doing the same image same thing studio shot they are children that have been raised this way Michael Douglas Steven Tyler this is the lead singer of look at this I want to show you this that he's wearing an image and showing you the image of the Pope doing the triple sixes in the eyes and these are variants of that doing the same thing and I challenge you to say that that is not deliberate here is uh, Puff Daddy he's changed his name so many times I don't know which one it is but look at pointing at Jay-Z doing the triple six sign this is a video of Snoop Doggy Dog he does the triple six sign with the light emanating from the hand usually there's an eye in the hand that eye symbolism in the hand as well uh, little Wayne and he does that triple six yeah there's a lot of gang signs out there but what you know when it's done in context that it is 666 and he's all about that look at the lyrics look at what he does look at them all this is puppeteering on a grand scale selling out Selling your soul out for what? Fame and fortune? For what profiteth a man that he gained the whole world and lose his soul? Look at that. So now you can understand. Here's Satan. Satan. Same image. Chris Brown. Look at this. This is a joke. Here he is. Here's the diamond shape. And that's a pretty popular brand coming out now. And then you can understand what that is later. That is Enlightenment and the Elite. We'll see that in the Freemasonic um, a Double Eagle. You can see that sign. So they're doing it all over the place. Now this top hat, you'll see later on uh, why he uses that. That is Masonic. You can see the sign. And moving along, everyone everyone yeah okay you're a basketball player and you want to do a three they just put the sign in there and have every way to disguise it but you can't disguise it in this context Jimmy and now you can see that being used as well variants on it doing this with the hat is real popular doing that with glasses just to disguise it slightly and here's a black eyed peas look at this this is puppeteering this is a joke these people are jokes please understand they're jokes they're not artists oh yeah it's great music oh yeah give me a break dance to it give me a break look at this this is stupidity indoctrinating your children to it They are playing you like you wouldn't believe. Understand it and get out of it. Literally get out of what they fantasize reality with. Get out of the matrix that they put you into. Not understanding what your life is about, what your purpose is about. This is Far East movement. This is a joke. Look at this. Asian rock or, or Asian alternative band. Look at what they're doing. This is a global movement. It's a global effort to get you into this Luciferian New World Order, and you have no clue what's going on.